Hey guys, and welcome back for another video. So today we're going to be taking a look at two public freakout situations that happen at your everyday McDonald's stores. And the reason I wanted to bring it up is because I'm starting to realize that in 2023, women kind of are the biggest threat to like general public and society safety and just comfort levels because you have so many different women of all races, of all ages, running amok in society. And I don't know why this is happening. I have no idea where women have gone off the deep end at. But this one right here is just a case in point of like, people, if you have teenage daughters, you need to keep them in line because this video here demonstrates why men are literally starting to go overseas for women because our women, the United States women, are complete messes like they're literally hot messes like from head to toe like these the, we got some teenage girls in mcdonald's disrespecting the crap out of the employees who are obviously adults elders to them and it's just disgusting like your parents literally raise you in no way like they taught you nothing if you're out in public acting like this i feel like your parents have taught you literally nothing about life but let's proceed and watch this three minute video of Teenage girls harassing some freaking store employees. Let's check it out. Who said I can't record? Fuck you. I don't care. Let's go go on Facebook, dude. what these kids are eating nowadays but look at how young these girls look and how they're literally towering all of towering over all of the employees at the store and don't get me wrong i'm tall myself but i don't remember being 13 14 15 and towering over adults like that didn't happen for me until i actually became an adult like these girls are kind of big and tall especially the one with the pink pants not to mention the fact that she's literally out in public with a complete fro not even combed in any kind of way not styled in any level way shape or form just psh, like she stuck her freaking finger in a electrical outlet before she walked out the house like whatever What the I have? I'm sorry, you always see this kind of stuff happening in fast food restaurants where people literally feel the right to throw things at the employees. That would never happen at a place that I work at. But if I ever was to work in a fast food restaurant, honey, I probably wouldn't keep a job. No, I wouldn't. Because I don't care how old you are. You could be a teenager. You could be a kid. You throw something at me. Oh, I'm going to give you the ass whooping that your parents should have gave you. Straight up. These girls are so disrespectful. She's literally called this woman out of her name. She's throwing stuff at them. The woman's probably in her 30s or 40s. And they're teenagers acting like this and that's why the woman said you think this is funny and she said Bitch, do you think this is funny and it's like oh my god this is just disgusting behavior for young women like i swear and i'm not just gonna put it on black girls or you know people that are african-american although it does seem like you know a lot of our women tend to act like this way these are like little um like tommy sotomayor would say bt 1000s in training but, <laughs> and by the way, oh my gosh, shout out to the channel. I will link it in the description because I think he may be back. And so that makes me really happy and excited. I don't know. I know some of you guys watch him and you're familiar with some of the terms that I be using, you know, that definitely come from him and I give him the credit for it. But yeah, he's part of the reason why I feel the need to say something about this too, because he got shut down for a minute and somebody still needs to stand up and say, you know what, this behavior is atrocious. We don't need to be doing this as women. We don't need to be doing this as black people, period. But it's not just black women. It's definitely not just black women. But I mean, just just the fact that it is in this video, 
it's concerning to me because it's like, <laughs> just keep watching. <laughs> Get the fuck out. What is you gonna do? What I can do that. Get the fuck out. Talk Chinese What? Do you hear that? With your Chinese ass, why? But if he was like, with your ghetto ass black girl or something, then he would be the one that was racist. But black people are just allowed to just be as racist as they want to be in public situations. Let's keep going. You can do whatever you want. I can do whatever I want. Did you see that little creepy pose that she just did? Like, sweetheart, do you think you look cute right now? You look like a very masculine young man who's dressed as a woman. That's what you look like. I'm sorry. Your femininity has left the building. Your friends never was there to begin with, the one with the pink pants. Yeah, she's wearing pink pants, but honey, walking out the house with your hair like freaking Don King. Like, that's not a good look for a teenage girl. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyway, your femininity has left the building. So you trying to stand there and look cute. No one's going to think you're cute. And the only type of guy that you're ever going to attract, mark my words, is going to be the type of thuggy type of dude that's probably going to end up whooping her ass. And I hate to say it, but let's just keep it real. The only kind of guy that's going to wife up, be with a chick like that, is the kind that's going to lay hands on her. And I got no problem with it because, to be honest, hey, you bring about what you are in your life. You you attract what you are in your life. And, and the type of energies that you put out, you get right on back. Because life is like a boomerang. You put some bad energy and mojo out there, you better believe it's going to come right back around on you. So while you're throwing things at these people and trying to harass them and demean them, that same thing is going to happen to her. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Disturbing the customers. So here we are. We can hear the person recording talking with other customers in the background who are apparently white. You got all the white people just standing back like, oh my God, look at how these black girls act. Oh my God, they're so unruly. This is so horrible. They should just call the police. So then when police get called on you guys and then they start having to come up showing guns and stuff because you're in a McDonald's throwing things, you're assaulting people. And then when you think that police are supposed to show up and not come in armed, you are the badly ones that you are horribly mistaken. Because if I was a cop, and I got called to a situation like that. First of all, I might be like the cop and may take my time getting there. I like let this blow over a little bit. Let, let let them run out of energy a little bit so it'll be less of a hassle. You know, but at the same time, it's like I'm gonna go in guns showing because I'm not about to deal with you throwing things at me. I'm not about to deal with you putting hands on me. At the end of the day, I'm going home with my family. You're gonna go down because you're the one disturbing the peace. You're the one that's obviously has no problem causing like whole commotions inside of McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? So obviously your level of character, your level of worth to this society is very low. And so this is why things like that happen to you. I don't really care how people feel about it. Stop being a nuisance to society and then you will stop being victims of it. You bring about what you, again, you bring about what you put out there. If you're not adding value to this world, you're going to be the exact thing that you have been destroyed because you're being destructive. Okay. And so at the end of the day, you can't blame cops for showing up to situations with people like this. Oh, they, but you know what, if a cop did show up and they, one of them ended up getting shot and got killed, 
you'd have a black family member or somebody out there. They just hate us. They so racist because we black and we da 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 da. But look at what you're doing. Look at the behaviors that you're exhibiting. Animalistic to say the least. And these are teenage girls attacking adult men and women. <laughs> and it's just two of them. And they're able to make crowds of people hide in the corner like, oh, we should just call the police. Like no one's standing up for these people. No, everyone's so much smaller than them. Like it's just, it is what it is. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm probably going too far into this. I'm gonna let the rest of the video play out. Make sure you guys tell me what you think about it. Am I being harsh or, or is this where this society is going? I think they did. I don't know, they coming. They are coming? I think so. What happened? What was, what was, the, what was the argument? What was, the, what was the argument? Oh my god, and she's just been all your property. Oh, McDonald's gonna... That's better. Uh, <laughs> We'll try to find it on the news tonight. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. Alright, I'm out of here. Apparently, those two people that were standing there watching the whole thing, they got tired of it and just said, you know what? We're just going to leave. <laughs> like, we're tired of watching these animals throw things at people. Like, literally, uh, I don't understand it. I mean, they were picking on the female workers trying to throw stuff at them like the guy you know the manager was obviously standing in front of them like trying to block them with trays and stuff like that trying to block their hits and everything trying to be a man of the situation even though he was technically smaller than them he was at least trying to be a man about it not let them just full-blown try to attack the women i don't know if the women in the background were talking crap maybe who knows why? But anyway, there's a part two to this. And when I say it's not just black women, I mean, it could be Latino women. It could be white women. It could be biracial women. This next woman, I have mean suspicions to think that she's a biracial woman. And let's proceed to watch how she acts at the McDonald's. This woman keeps re repeating that whatever this argument started over, it's over three dollars and twelve cents. You keep saying three motherfucking dollars, three motherfucking dollars, ma'am. Do you not hear yourself? You're getting this angry. You're gonna literally have a brain aneurysm <laughs> as angry as you sound right now. You're knocking stuff over that could literally cause you to go to jail. Now you're threatening other people in the store. I'll see you when you get off of work, which is yet another crime that you can go to jail for. And at the end of the day, it's all over $3.12. Guys, get your passports. Leave American women alone. They're all trash at this point. <laughs> like, I mean, and then she's saying, you making me act a mother fool in front of my daughter. You're acting a fool in front of your daughter and you're teaching her that this is how you act when you don't get what you want out of, out of society. And it's at McDonald's. I mean, oh my God. I have just never been in a situation where I got that mad. I mean, I've experienced going to fast food restaurants and other restaurants for that matter that have screwed up my orders and things of that nature. And you know what I do? I just avoid going there again. I'm not going to keep going to a place that doesn't have what I want when I go or they've screwed up my orders. And I'm just going to take that L and keep it moving.
okay? Because you get what you pay for. You paid $3.12. What did you expect? $3! Oh my god, and that poor little, pretty little girl standing there saying, Mommy. Like she's just trying to get her to come out the door and protect her. You're leaving her to just basically, because I mean, you may feel like you can whoop every ass in the world just because you're mad, but honey, you can't. There could be a guy that could come up, sock you one good time, and knock you clean on the floor, knocking you out, paralyzing you momentarily, and then someone else could literally steal your daughter. Do you not think, I mean, what? what why do y'all get so angry to the point where you like, what, become Superman or something? Like you're invincible all of a sudden? No, you're still a human being. And not only that, you don't look like you're in any kind of shape to be fighting. You got a belly bouncing around. And granted, so do I. I know I do too. But you bet your lucky charms I wouldn't be the person trying to fight somebody at McDonald's. Oh, it would never be me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm far too classy of a woman. I, I love being a, a classy woman. I love carrying myself with a, a certain level a demeanor where people can't get me off my square like that. And it's very rare that I will allow people to get me off my square like that. But certainly not in public. Like you're destroying things. You could have hurt somebody. You're kicking things around. Like what if, if like I, in all honesty, what if the, one of those guys got hit with that and was like, oh, hell no, she just hit me with that and then went up and clocked her. You know what I'm saying? Then you're out for the count. You're bouncing around like you're, I don't know, freaking Mike Tyson or something. I don't know who the heck you think you are. Like you're not, you can't fly like a butterfly and sting like a bee. I'm sorry, you, you don't look like you can. And then you got a little girl with you just watching the whole thing. She's obviously freaking out. I'm literally like in tears for the daughter because it's like she's just this little girl who just wants her mom to calm down and come protect her and act like a lady in public. And it's like, no wonder some of you women be like single for life because you just, you don't have what it takes to be with a man. And some of y'all think it's, your breasts, your butt, your tiny little waist, all that pounds of makeup and the weave you may wear. You may think that that's what keeps a man, but it's not. At the end of the day, what keeps a man around is your demeanor. The fact that you're different from him. The fact that you're feminine. The fact that you're soft. The fact that you can carry yourself like a lady and he can trust you around other people and with his children. Like, oh my God. This is disgusting behavior. It's way worse than those other girls. I mean, at least those girls were teenagers. So they have a lot to learn still. But this is obviously a grown woman with this disturbing behavior, truth be told, in front of a child, her own, and a female child at that. Like, so now she, when she grows up, she's going to be even more batshit crazy than you. Oh, and now she's threatening other people in the store. So now the whole store has gotten up because apparently the woman she was yelling at had a baby. And, you know, I, I'm the same way. Like, there's a baby in the room. We not about to let you go batshit crazy like that. So even the men in the back, they came up to try to probably come between them to make sure nothing happened to that baby. And they probably would have put their hands on her had she went after the woman with the baby. Which they would have been in all rights to. I would have been totally okay with somebody knocking her out at that point. As long as nothing happened to her actual daughter, who's just a little innocent child and all of this. Scared. You know? But she needed to be calmed down. Like, oh my God. You know? And who knows what she probably went home and did to her children after that. You know? Because she must have been angry. She could have went home and took it out on them. 
you know, this is why this kind of behavior has to stop. And we need to call it out and let it be known that it's not attractive. It's not feminine. Okay, sorry for that slight interruption. My uh, stove was letting me know that those ribs that I've been cooking slowly for the last four hours are finally finished. But, um, yeah, like, this has to stop. At some point in time, we have to get back to the way we used to be. Not to the point where, like, we don't own property and stuff like that. Like, I don't want to be oppressed as a woman again. But at the same time, we can't take advantage of what feminism has brought us. It has brought us a lot of freedoms as women. We can vote. Our opinion matters. We can work. We can earn money. We can own property. We can make major decisions. And we can go to school and things of like that, which women in the past, 100, 150 years ago, 200 years ago, couldn't do. But now we've taken it and we've gone so far to the point where we think we can just act a slap fool in society and not pay for anything. Like, you destroy this McDonald's and who knows? I mean, more than likely, she probably did get away with it unless they were able to get her license plate or something. Hopefully they did and she was able to, you know, get a nice visit from the police officers. Hopefully somebody was able to press charges for the damages to the McDonald's and just the sheer threats you know, in and of itself. I don't know if she would have did jail time for something like that, but she definitely should face some major fines. Maybe that would keep you from losing it in public because you, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't think that it's okay to threaten random people who have literally done nothing to you except tell you to calm the down, which you need to do. Be a mother. Focus on the fact that you have this small child right here watching you behave in this way. Then you're blaming other people for how you're acting. Like, oh my gosh, like I swear. <sighs> I don't even know what else to say about it anymore. All I know is that this, these last couple videos disgusted me because I work in customer service. Thankfully not in the fast food industry, but I do deal with people. And so I know how people are. And I know that a lot of times they feel like because you're that front line person, they can treat you and talk to you any kind of way just because they're dissatisfied with the company that you're with. And it's like, no, sorry, I'm not a punching bag. I'm not here for you to get out your frustration with the service that you were provided. Like, I'm just here to actually service you and provide you with information, things of that nature. But I'm not here as a stress relief and I won't be. And I think everybody in customer service deserves that same level of treatment. And sometimes people think, oh, well, you're at a fast food restaurant, like she said. You're making $10 an hour. It doesn't matter because obviously your cheap ass is there eating that $10 an hour food. So what does that say about you? I'm just saying. You guys leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. I love you guys. Thanks for all of your support. Um, by the way, I am creeping up on eight months pregnant for a lot of you who have been asking. And everything's going really good. I'm dealing with everything that you would expect a pregnant woman at the end would be dealing with. Um, I'll be a mommy of two very soon and I will try to keep you updated with all of that and you know we'll see what's to come. Thank you guys again and I'll see you next time.